Um, a lot of motivation, you know, we've been preparing well and getting ready and sticking to the game plan. And we know that a lot of guys are going to have to go out there and step up. Michael, your, your leadership skills are, are probably being tested right now with losing Noah the way y'all did, not having the other three guys available. Yes, sir. And stuff. What is it like in y'all's room right now? Exci I mean, can you tell us what it's like in there from the standpoint of guys needing to step up, et cetera? I feel the guys that are know they need to step up, I feel they're excited for the chance and opportunity come Monday night. Who has caught your eye definitely in, the, in that group of like Johnny Dixon, James Clark, uh, Paris Campbell, the list goes on, Terry McLaurin, who has caught your eye this preseason? Um, all those guys. They've had, I believe they had great fall camps, and um, I feel Monday we'll be able to show everyone. Uh, how do you think they will handle being in prime time in a hostile stadium? And, you know, obviously these guys all have a little bit of swagger to them. <laughs> Yeah, I feel they'll handle it great. I feel like every day coming to Ohio State, we go against great defense every day in practice. So I feel for them Monday night, we'll just be able to show everyone. Your buddy Braxton Miller, I don't know if you remember him or not. Uh, yeah. I'm just messing with He's made the switch. Yes, sir. Is he, are you starting to see a wide receiver hybrid back now instead of a quarterback? I mean, what are you seeing out of him? Uh, all around complete athlete. I start to see a guy that's went from not really – knowing what to do and now just came a long way. So I feel like he's ready to show on Monday also. I was going to say, how, how much is he champing at the bit, I mean, to, to play again? Can you put it into words? I feel he's real hungry. And Mike, who's the best corner you've ever played against? Um, well, I played a lot against a lot of great corners last year. I mean, Trey Waynes, the guys at Michigan State, Virginia Tech, they're great corners. Um, everyone, I give credit to all the DBs I went against, the guys from Alabama, everyone. Where's this Kendall Fuller guy from Virginia Tech to stack up? Um, he's definitely at the top. Do you expect a lot of one-on-one -on -one matchups with him? We'll see. <laughs> but Michael, what makes him a unique player as opposed to a lot of the players? What would make him a next level kind of player that you've seen on tape and against him? Um, he's, he's, you know, he has a great bloodline, um, comes from a great family uh, of DBs, his brother, and uh, he's just an athlete. And I mean, I love competition, so I can't wait to go against him on Monday. So is this a clash of the bloodlines? I mean, uh, you come from a pretty good bloodline of wide receivers. Um, we'll find out. Yeah. Hey, Michael, everyone that we've asked which young receivers are stepping up has omitted the name of Torrance Gibson. Has he just been too hampered by his injury to really step up yet? Um, or Torrance, is that an experience? Thing? Torrance, he, he's been doing great, actually. Uh, all the guys in the room have been doing great, you know, so whoever the coach is trusted to be on that field on Monday, uh, I feel they'll get the job done. Nick said that you guys are preparing to face anything Virginia Tech might throw at you. Have you been amazed by the breadth of things that they have you facing in practice this week? Um, no, at the end of the day, it's only so many coverages they can run. So, I mean, it's not really surprising. We've just been game planning and, you know, know that they come out in something we may not expect. So we've been going against that in every defense possibly we've seen them play on film. What has Coach Smith said to your guys? I mean, you're already playing without three of your top guys and then Noah gets injured. What's he had to say to like get those young guys in the mindset of hey, you know, forget about all the outside stuff that we were counting on you young guys to come through in this game. Yeah, I mean, guys have to step up. You know, Noah went down. That was a tough blow for us. But guys have to realize the opportunity and stay in the moment. They can't really get overwhelmed. At the end of the day, it's just football, and you know, you've been playing all your life. It's not like we're, you know, it's anything new. Just step up, make a play, and do your job. Is Torrance back practicing? Yeah, he's back. How the quarterbacks look? They look great. <laughs> what about them, each of them stands out? Um, I mean, they're all very fundamentally sound and great leaders. So sometimes I forget who's throwing me the ball back there because they rotate so much. But I mean, they look great to me. Is there a difference between catching a ball from JT and catching a ball from uh, Cardell? Um, no. <laughs> they kind of. Um, they kind of just are pros about how they throw the ball in there, coach very well, so I feel like they always put the ball right where it needs to be. Are they different in the huddle? Uh, we run no huddle, so. <laughs> are they different in the way they lead the team? Good point. Um, I mean, they're both very vocal and both have a sense of humor, and you know, when it's time to get something done and get down to business, then that's what they do. Other than that, they, you know, we play around, joke around, so I like both of them. Why was JT elected captain, in your opinion, Michael? Um, JT, he's, he's a leader. You know, he's he's real vocal. You know, I mean, I feel like he has great 
parents that brought him up like that. So someone we just trust and we're in all, like a situation, he'll always speak up. You know, he always voices his opinion. He doesn't really hold it in. You personally, do you, do you uh, I don't know, explain your mindset going into a game like this, prime time, everybody's going to be watching and stuff. You seem to rise to the occasion yeah. in those kind of games last year and stuff, even against Virginia Tech. You know, yeah. you had a pretty good game. Uh, what is it about these games that gets you going? I mean, you know, it's a lot of hype building up into them and a lot of he say, she say, and everyone forms their opinion. But at the end of the day, we're both going to meet up and line up against each other, and that's how we'll solve it. So, Why were you guys so good on the road last year? I mean, when you look at real moments for this team, it was the Penn State game and then Michigan State when y'all got it done, especially in the second quarter, you and Devin. What is it about being on the road, you think, that pulls this team together or this group? Um, well, you don't know yet because it's a new group, but what was it? What is it about this, I guess, program that makes that happen, you think? I feel like it's just the coaches. They prepare us well for going into those type of environments, and I feel like they get us get us ready for those situations, and then when those opportunities come, we take advantage of them. And what do they stress more? I mean, obviously, there's noise at practice every day. I mean, uh, how do they get you all ready for that kind of situation? They let us know that, it, you know, we're going to need all nine units. We're going to need – it's going to be have to be a team sport, like, and everyone's going to have to be accounted for. Michael, when you in, in practice, uh, you go against Gary on game, uh, some of the defensive backs that we haven't seen very much of. What have you seen out of them as an opponent that gives you some some curiosity about how they're going to perform on Monday? Guys, maybe we haven't seen very much, but you all have. Um, I'm very confident in them. They've developed a lot from the off season and definitely from last year, and they're a lot hungrier. You know, they they we went all the way and we won the whole thing, and they they possibly weren't playing or didn't contribute as much as they wanted to and now they they've they have like that chip on their shoulder they want to prove that they can contribute. Michael you're kind of a student of student of the game um, how much you know about Ohio State's history and, and where this team might rank based on the talent you have and, and what you could accomplish here in the in the history of this of this program? Uh, we'll just focus on winning the game on Monday and then let you guys decide all that. Mike, you mentioned going against Trey Waynes. When, when you're lined up against a guy that you know is going to be an NFL corner, and I'm sure you yourself want to play in the NFL as well, yeah. does that add anything to it? I mean, I mean, I love man coverage. I love when someone plays over the top of you and there's no one, you know, to help him. It's just me versus him. It's kind of like one-on-one -on -one basketball. So, I, I mean, I, I love competition. I love when teams play man. Mike, when, when you showed up here, this play. team, this program was bouncing back from – yeah. Now y'all are number one in the country. You're coming off a national championship year. What feels different about this place now? Um, you know, we can't get complacent. This is what Ohio State, this is what we, Coach Meyer came here to build. This is what guys that are that got recruited here, we came here. This was always our dream. So we just can't get complacent. This is how we want it. And, I mean, he uses the word culture. Do you feel that too, that that's the culture that's been cultivated here now? Yeah, that's something we created and the coaches have created. You guys maybe top last to question. bottom last year were the best group of blocking wide receivers in the country. How are you guys in that category so far this year, especially since you're going to be so reliant on young wide receivers? Yeah, we, we definitely work on that every day. Um, you know, Evan Spencer was a great blocker for us. Noah was a great blocker for us. You know, basically, coach gives us a task. We have to get the job done. We can't find an excuse for it. We have to <coughs> find a way to get it done. And, you know, I feel like the coaches have prepared us for it. And, um, we we go against a lot of the stuff we'll we'll see during the year at practice every day. That's why that's why I get my confidence from in practice every day. So